Welcome, I'm from me is a OnePlus Nord and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So starting off we're gonna begin with the 90Hz display, which is probably one of the key selling points of this device. So let's go into the settings and then display. And from here we're gonna go under the let's see advanced and from here we have refresh rate and make sure it's set to 90. Now on the video it will not look like much uh, because all well, the video is being recorded at 60 so might as well for you uh, as a watcher it might as well just be set to 60. Uh, but if you have the device enable the 90 and once you do you'll see a difference in just overall smoothness of everything you will be doing and navigating. Now if you really want to see a great comparison between those how it looks like uh, I suggest that you for instance go to 60. Um, or start with 90 for instance and go to a page where you can just scroll up and down and I'll scroll up and down and you'll see how smooth the text moves and from there go back change it to 60 and do that the same thing again and you'll see the text kind of becomes choppy where it just jumps around in a way and there is way less being shown in a single second so it will look a little bit uh, well, worse and just as a example or explanation of what it does uh, if you're not sure what refresh rate is, imagine uh, your screen as a slideshow that is just super fast and in a single second uh, you will see 60 slides um, that is just the 60 hertz refresh rate but with 90 hertz you will have well, 30 more slides so 90 um, and it basically adds more content onto the display per, per second making it look smoother because of it. Now moving on the next one we're gonna go into the icon manager uh, which is something that oneplus really does well with their customization of their devices and this specific option will allow you to hide all the toggles that for instance are toggled on right here so let me quickly disable this and enable a bunch of stuff that can be shown in the panel i guess that should should be good enough as you can see there is um, several things visible. So from here we're gonna go on under the status bar I believe it was in display or either customization, no there was display, status bar and icon manager and right here you can see all the toggles. Now as you can see this is all enabled so it will all show up up here but if you want to get rid of something that for instance you know that it's enabled you can simply disa start disabling it now you can disable basically everything now in certain cases i would well, discourage that because well for instance i will might have then well, keep things enabled that you might not want to for instance like nfc i prefer to turn mine off uh, when i'm not using it and without the NFC you won't actually see if it's enabled or disabled. Uh, now as you also see even though nothing is really showing up here everything is still enabled. It doesn't disable anything it just removes it from being visible in the status bar and this is more for like a cleaner look. So I personally really like this option it removes unwanted clutter from there. Now moving on to the next one uh, which will kind of go well with the customization it's going to be the gesture navigation and to enable it we need to go onto the um, let's see it's so right here buttons and gestures and from here we're gonna go into a navigation bar and gestures and you can see we have the home uh, back and recent but we can change it to navigation and it adds this little bar right here. Now, if you don't know how to use those and you have never really seen the gesture navigation, I advise you to go to start learning and this will give us a quick guide on how to use it. Now, also before you begin, I will mention that if you have never used it primarily, uh, 
try to use the gestures by starting the swipe off of the screen. So you can see you have the bar and you're supposedly supposed to swipe the bar up, right? But to get the best result and well, accuracy with this, I advise you to kind of start off the screen like so and then swipe up. So let's stop and start. And number one, we have the back buttons. So this can be accessed from both of the sides as the animation shows. And simply you need to swipe from either side like so. You can see it right here as well. And there we go. And from there we have the home. So this is a quick swipe up. Like so. And then recent, which is swipe and hold. Which, there we go. Now the animations here aren't necessarily the greatest. It also gives us a switching up. So slide to the sides to switch ups. Okay, got it. So now, as you can see, this looks a little bit better in person. Works way better than the animation makes it look like. So yeah, honestly, I really like the gestures. They uh, the specifically swiping from sides is something that I will adore. It's really nice. Now, if you have never used gestures, highly advise it. It makes navigation, navigating the device so much more enjoyable, I would say, especially if you're doing this for the first time. And moving on to the last one, we're gonna go into the customization section, which is probably the longest part of this. Um, so we have in the settings customization, and in here we have, well, a literal plethora of things that we can customize. Uh, now we have things, simple things like the clock style, wallpapers, and fingerprint animations, uh, which let's start with the fingerprint animation. Now, unfortunately, we need to have a fingerprint first. So let's add one for this. Hopefully I can do it really quickly. Not actually wasting much time. So once we add the fingerprint, um, normally when you're when you have a fingerprint, it comes with some default animation. So there we go. S scan it. Actually, it doesn't come with any animation in this case. Um, so let's go back and let's go to fingerprint animation. And from here, you can see we have different animations. So at the moment, we have none, uh, which is something new. Uh, usually, they that keeps some animation on, but you can tap on it. It gives you animation right here as an example how it will look like. So you can tap on each one of them and see which one suits you. From there, simply tap on the check mark. And now when you lock the device and unlock it, you can already see the animation working. Now it's a fairly quick one and simple, but it's still part of the well, bigger picture here of uh, well, a little bit more customization that you, options that you have here. So below that we have system customization. Number one, we can change the colors of, well, primarily almost everything. So let's see, this is accent colors. Accent colors are things like the, the blue toggles right here. Anything that is selected and blue, uh, all those uh, lines right here. So we can change it to, for instance, red. And let's actually check it. And there we go, as you can see now it's red. And actually, let's change it to something a little bit more fun. Now I like orange, so let's go with. There we go. This might be still a little bit light. Let's see if this is. That's just purely black. Not really what I was looking for. We have here. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, I can set it up like so. And there we go, it changes everything to orange. Now we have tones, which again applies to um, your uh, things like settings and just other parts apart from the accent colors. And by default, it's set to this random ones, I be believe, the colorful ones, at least that's how it was before. But you can change it to dark or light. So this is the colorful. Now, in one of those, I'm pretty, from what I remember, at least on the older devices, accent colors were not available. It looks like this is not the case right now. So as you can see, you can change, change them still. Oh, there we go, so never mind. As you can see, in the colorful tones, we cannot actually change the accent, which is kind of a shame. Uh, and also, uh, as a little bit of a uh, well, misleading, misleading name, colorful, it 
still keeps uh, the dark mode. This is not because we had dark before, it actually is how it looks like. But I believe if we go into settings, as you can see it's still white primarily, uh, it just has darker backgrounds all around. So let's go to for instance dark and let's change it to red, kind of how I like it. And then be below that we have style or system icons. So this is just how this icons will look like, the shape of them. As you can see you have a couple different options here, whichever one you choose and will automatically change it. There we go, now it's squared and we have icon packs, which here we have only two to choose from. Uh, I believe by default it's hydrogen that comes enabled, but you can change it to oxygen, which is the circular ones. Or, well, you can go to store and just get whatever different icons you want. Um, these are really nice, honestly. I use them on my device and I personally really like them. Now, if you're kind of wondering how they look like, let me quickly show it. So this is the icon pack, how it looks like on, well, really dark background, so let me... There we go. So it's completely pre up to preference what you like here and you can download whatever you like from here. Now keep in mind some of them will be paid so uh, if you find some like really nice looking ones they might actually cost something. Um, but yeah that's basically where you can change them once you download some. And yeah. Um, Apart from that, we also have the clock style. It simply allows you to change the clock style on the lock screen. Um, again, up to preference. But we can finish with the customization section here. And yeah, so if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.